Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. President Ranciavi, on behalf of the Belgian Committee of Parliamentarians for a Democratic Iran, which has organized this meeting with the help of our good friends in the Iranian resistance and the Iranian community in Belgium, I would like to welcome all of you who have gathered here for this very important event. I say it's important because tomorrow the EU foreign ministers will be meeting here in Brussels and the issue of Ashraf is on their agenda. I'm also very delighted that some of the most distinguished American colleagues have come all the way to join us today to help the brave women and men in Ashraf. You are very welcome in Belgium and we in Europe feel encouraged that the Iranian resistance has such a great support in the USA from both major parties. Before asking Mr. Stevenson to moderate and chair this meeting, I would like to say a few points. In a letter of the Belgian Parliament this week, Iraq's government has insisted that it will keep its deadline to close Ashraf on 31 December. The Foreign Minister of Belgium, Steven van Akkeren, who was speaking in the Senate last week, has declared his opposition to this impossible deadline as neither reasonable nor realistic. I have written several letters to Mr. Martin Kobler, who is the head of the UNAMI in Iraq, to condemn this ridiculous deadline. I have expressed our deep concern of his comments about moving Ashraf residents to other locations inside Iraq. Now, on behalf of the majority of the Belgian MPs and senators who have signed declarations in support of Ashraf, I call on the United Nations Secretary General and his representative, Mr. Martin Kobler, to declare their clear opposition to the forcible displacements of Ashraf residents inside Iraq and the deadline. They could lead to a brutal massacre of the residents. If this happens, the residents of Ashraf have the right to resist because they prefer to die in Ashraf instead of being killed or kidnapped later in a remote place in Iraq. I hope in future we will not have to blame the United Nations and especially UNAMI for helping and assisting the new dictator of Iraq, Maliki, to commit a crime against humanity. Therefore, tomorrow, the EU foreign ministers must condemn this deadline. They must condemn a forcible displacement of Ashraf residents. This was all I want to say. I wish all the best for our brothers and sisters in Ashraf. With your resistance and your, you are making history. The Iranian people must be proud of all of you. We will continue to support the people's Mujahideen and to Mrs. Maryam Rajavi until the Iranian people will be free. Now, I would like to ask my good colleague, Mr. Struan Stevenson, President of the Delegation for Relations with Iraq in the European Parliament, to take over and chair this meeting. Thank you very much.